Well, folks, we have a great video for today because we're talking about Zelda and Switch 2 in the same video. I Look, those are some of my favorite topics right now. And it, it's crazy that we're actually talking about Zelda because I sort of gave up on really needing to worry about anything potentially Zelda related till maybe sometime next year, you know, maybe there'll be a top-down Zelda for Switch 2 or something like that, or a big remake, or maybe we'll finally get Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and wait. Why are we talking about those two? Maybe a Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD, right? Like those are been done, like a bunch of insiders, including Nate the Hate, Jeff Grubb, Andy Robinson, and so many others out there have said that, hey, Nintendo finished these games for Switch a long time ago, and they're sitting on them, don't really know when they're going to come out. But we're talking about it today because it appears we have a quote-unquote leak for a Zelda remake and or remaster for 2023, sort of? At least it's part of the leak. I mean, it's more like a rumor, I suppose, but considering the source of it, it really feels like a bit more than just a rumor because this isn't like your average insider like a Nate the Hate or a Jeff Grubb. Like, this is somebody who has proven history with this stuff. Kind of crazy. And then, yes, we have an update on Switch 2. And you know what? If you think Switch 2 is coming in the first half of 2024... Man, this news is going to be music to your ears. All right, guys. Now, before we jump in, I just want to remind you, we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring a -ling that ding -a -ling to be notified of all future uploads. All right, guys. Let's get right into this. First off, talking about Zelda because, well, some interesting things are happening and being hidden now, almost as if they're afraid of getting people in trouble. What are we talking about? Well, this was teased by Dr. Sirkin Toto over on X slash Twitter, and he tweeted out Z space R space 2023. He actually made a very, very similar tweet back in June 2021 that said Z2 space 22, which turned out was a reference to Tears of the Kingdom, aka Breath of the Wild 2 back then, getting a 2022 date, which actually did happen, even though it was later delayed and didn't come out until 2023. He has since deleted the ZR 2023 tweet and the tweet from back in 2021, after people started pointing out that he did this before. So he deleted both of those tweets today, even though one was made today and one was made years ago, which... It's kind of weird because the Z222 thing actually was already proven to be true. So why is he hiding that tweet now or deleting it? This also follows up what Jeff Grubb said earlier this year about something Zelda that isn't related to Tears of the Kingdom being announced before the end of 2023. Obviously, we don't know if the R part of this tweet or is it, I guess it's called just a post now. Anyways, we don't know if the R part means remake or remaster, and if the 2023 date means coming this year or just announced this year, because obviously these are pretty vague. But it's interesting because the last time he did this back in 2021, he was revealing that, you know, hey, Tears of the Kingdom, aka Breath of the Wild 2, is coming out in 2022. And now... He's teasing something related to Zelda again, and this kind of builds off a previous rumor we had from Jeff Grubb. So, I, you know, I keep thinking, would Nintendo dare to shadow drop a Zelda remake or remaster this year? And then I have to remember, they already did this this year with other franchises. Metroid Prime Remaster, Shadow Drop during the February Direct. Hey, remember Pikmin 1 plus 2 Remastered or HD or whatever they called those? Yeah, they Shadow Drop that during a June Direct. Now, we don't suspect there's any more general Directs this year. We did get one in September as usual, so we're not really expecting anything but maybe a partner showcase or, you know, maybe an indie world or something, but we don't have like a big Nintendo event we think is going to happen. But what if there's still the possibility of a shadow drop this year. Look, they have the Game Awards coming up, and what's interesting about the Game Awards is we know Tears of the Kingdom is going to win several awards. We don't know if it's going to win Game of the Year, but it is going to win awards there and be probably one of the most nominated games of the year. So what's interesting is what if they're pairing all the attention Tears of the Kingdom is going to get at the Game Awards with a shadow drop announcement at the awards of a Zelda remake or remaster. That's really all I can wrap my mind around and obviously we're gonna 
you know, it, it's pretty easy to assume this will be like the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess or the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, right? Because the rumors on those have been out there for so long. It's just sort of like a blanket assumption that we should get them. I've kind of given up on getting them on Switch. I think it makes more sense to do 4K 60 FPS versions for Switch 2. And I think that's a great selling point to get people that maybe even bought it on Wii U to rebuy. But Again, we don't really know. Like It could be anything. It could be another top-down game. Remember, Grezzo did Link's Awakening. We presume Grezzo's working on something else. What if it's another top-down remake or remaster? So it's really interesting just to speculate on what this could be and when they would announce it again. There is that one last major event here in 2023 where they could shadow drop something or announce something this year that's actually for next year. And again, Jeff Grubb had this rumor a while back, and now Dr. Circuntoto, who literally isn't a leaker. He doesn't put stuff out there. He works in Japan. He works at huge companies in Japan. And when he talks about things, it's from a position of knowledge. He's literally at all of Nintendo's investor meetings. And so like he's very well connected. And it's interesting that he deleted the tweet. I, I don't think he deleted the tweet because it was misinformation. That's obviously one way to take it because then he also went back and deleted his tweet today from 2021, which wasn't misinformation, ended up being correct. Why would he delete that? And then this, I think it's because after he put those tweets out there and people started noticing it, his source, it could be an employee at Nintendo, I don't know, texted him, called him and said, hey man, can you please get rid of those tweets? And so he did. So maybe he jumped the gun and put something out there and he thought it was vague enough that it wouldn't matter. But then people pulled up the fact that he did this exact same thing, you know, two years ago. So he just deleted both because maybe all the information came from the exact same source. That's my obviously speculation. I don't know what Zelda game this is. I just know that I'm really, really excited by the idea that we somehow could get a surprise Zelda announcement, whether it's releasing this year or next year, before the end of the year. Why Nintendo wouldn't have like put that in the September Direct? I don't know. Like, Look, they don't really have like a major, major game dropping in December, so a shadow drop in December could work for Nintendo. Uh, also, pretty much almost, I don't want to say everything, but most of their future slate right now is all Mario-related, so... Getting something Zelda in there would be kind of cool to help mix things up a little bit. I don't know, guys. You let me know what you think this is down in the comments below. And we got to get to our second topic because, look, Switch 2 is trending again. And it's trending because of something that isn't actually true. So first, we're going to go over a rumor out there that I already know is factually not correct. And then we're going to go over some new information coming from an actual reliable source Let's first go over this fake stuff. So you might have seen this over on the Gaming and Leaks Reddit. You might have seen other YouTube videos on this. The reason we haven't made a video on this particular rumor is because we know it's not true. I wanted to talk about a fake leak or rumor, whatever, that's going around for Switch 2. And it comes from a Korean leaker claiming the Switch 2 is currently known as the pseudonym. So this is like their you know, internal name for it, the Super Nintendo Play. And this rumor also includes the fact that it doesn't dock with your TV, or it does, but it does it without actually having a dock. So wirelessly, sort of like how you can wirelessly connect your phone to a TV. And yes, this leak is entirely fake. Uh, people who know the actual code name of the system, including one developer I talked to to also verify this, so that is absolutely not what the code name of the system is so that alone already is a huge red flag that this is fake and we've now heard from people who uh, are trusted and including my own source that uh, the dev kits absolutely have a dock so if the dev kits have a dock I, I it's pretty unrealistic to expect there not to be some sort of docking solution it could be a slimmer dock it could be a complete redesign it could be similar we don't really know what the dock looks like its shape or its form but yes there's still going to be a physically attached dock and by the way Yes, you really want this to be the case anyways. When you when you talk about latency and stuff, you don't want wireless communications of 4K signals. Yeah, you, you really want this to be a physical connection to your TV regardless. I know that the technology does exist to do wireless communications and wirelessly beam to your TVs, but again, there's latency problems with that. Something you typically don't care when you're just beaming an image from your phone or a quick video, but it is something you're going to care when you're doing gameplay. So absolutely, there needs to be some sort of hardwired connected dock. Again, it, it, this to me just seems a little out there. Plus, if there wasn't a hardwired connected dock, that would also mean the Switch 2 couldn't ramp up with higher clock speeds. It would be stuck with whatever it could do on battery. 
that's also not something we should want as consumers. So again, this leak is entirely fake, and I, I think the reason it caught on is just because it's a Korean leaker. Uh, they're not very big or popular. They got about a 1,000 followers, and that's not to scoff at that, but it turns out that even in Korea countries, like they don't really think that this guy is really anything just based on the research I was able to pull up on them. And on top of that, the reason that it caught traction here in the United States is pretty simple. It's a foreign account that's hard to verify things, you know, because again, we're not in those countries. And on top of that, uh, Nintendo does do some manufacturing out in those areas. So you'd be like, oh, this thing's coming from manufacturing. But uh, again, this is one of those because of it being a foreign account, it is so much easier for people to believe it when reality is this person's just making stuff up. It is what it is. They got their 15 seconds of fame on my channel. Let's move on to the actual information. And this is really cool because this comes from Nintendo Universo's founder, Necro Felipe Lima. He put up a post today on X, and here's what it said. Waiting until this week passes to comment on Nintendo's next hardware, but recent surveys by colleagues on Discord have been positive in pointing to an imminent production of a new console. Now, he seemed to put some further clarification over on Family Boards that he was talking about mass production of the system beginning imminently. This really follows up a DJI Money report, which is a Japanese uh, outlet that they were going to, you know, earlier this year, I think it was like March or something like that, they said Nintendo was going to be mass producing Switch 2 in November. So again, November is this week. So there would be an imminent per mass production of it would line up also with that report. So you can argue this isn't new information outside of the fact that he says he'll have more to say on Switch 2 after this week. So next week so by maybe this even even by maybe sunday next week so maybe even a week from today uh we could have new information at least from his end now again this is still all a rumor of course we don't have the manufacturing stuff you know backed up yet this is one of those things that once mass manufacturing begins you'll see bloomberg and other outlets that have connections at the manufacturing plants confirming that things are in production and Obviously, the interesting part about having more information or more confirmation of mass production starting is that you don't start mass production a year out from a system coming. That's just not how mass production works. You don't bank things up for six, seven months in warehouses, costing you money in storage space. No, you go into mass production when something's going to be launching, usually within a few months. So again, I don't know what's happening if this is true, that means millions of these systems are going to start to begin manufacturing in November. By the time we get to January, Nintendo could literally have two, three, four million of these things already ready to go. So this does lend some credence to people who think, hey, this system is coming first half of 2024. Yeah, if it's in mass production, Nintendo's not going to sit on 10, 20, 15 million of these systems in a warehouse. It's too expensive to do that. They're going to obviously get them out to cons consumers. So it's interesting. This might even support a Q1 release in 2024, but at least, you know, a first half by June. So again, this is sort of what you can maybe get out of this, although that is still speculation. Even if they're mass manufacturing in November, we can't just say for sure it's a first half of 2024 product. Again, there's a lot of unknown here. As an example, this is still technically a rumor. We don't know for sure that there actually is mass production happening yet because we won't have confirmation of it until it actually happens. Uh, and this happening actually is... One thing that has led to many to assume that we're going to have a lot more information on Switch 2 in December because once mass production goes into place, that's typically when leaks begin, like real manufacturing leaks. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to sit back and wait and see if any of this pans out. What else he has to say? I did reach out to Necro Felipe Lima privately just to get confirmation and ask him more about what he's talking about here. He declined to really provide any more details at this time. He's protecting his sources. He's doing what he should be doing and, and just not willing to give more. He did say again, next week, he's, he's planning to give more information. My biggest question was obviously, like, I've never heard Nintendo doing surveys through Discord. To be fair, he didn't really say that surveys happened through Discord, that his contacts were on Discord. And okay, yeah, I've got 
an industry contact, just one on Discord. So it is possible that he could have developers and stuff like that on Discord. So we're just going to have to wait and see if any of this means anything. Uh, but I'm just going to uh, sit back and be cautiously optimistic on something Zelda being announced, if not released, before the end of this year. And extremely optimistic, a little bit less cautious, that we're going to hear about Switch 2 pretty damn early into 2024. Thank you guys so much for being. And when I say here, by the way, I mean Nintendo announcing this damn thing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.